Patrick Lee Williams is an American professional basketball player for the Chicago Bulls of the National Basketball Association. He played college basketball for the Florida State Seminoles. He was the fourth pick in the 2020 NBA Draft. Williams had come on strong in the second half of the season, helping the Seminoles win their first ACC regular season title in school history and reach number four in the AP poll. He was the sixth man in an 11-man rotation, averaging 9.2 points on 45.9% shooting, four rebounds, and one assist in 22.5 minutes per game. Florida State's offense ran their two older NBA prospects, sophomore Devin Vassell and senior Trent Forrest, but there was still buzz around Williams in NBA circles because of his unusual combination of size, skill, and athleticism. Let's move forward with our video and have a look at the top 10 things you didn't know about Patrick Williams. So, let's begin. But before we proceed further, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, do hit the subscribe button so that you won't be missing out on any future NBA content. Number 10. Birth and Career Start Williams was born on August 26, 2001 in Charlotte, North Carolina. He was a four-year starter on the Mighty Lions varsity basketball team. Williams averaged 20.7 points, 7.7 .7 rebounds, 3.7 assists, and 2.8 steals in his junior season. Williams was rated a four-star recruit and a consensus top 50 prospect in his class. As a senior, Williams averaged 22.1 points, 9 rebounds, 2.8 blocks, and 3.1 assists per game and was named the Mecklenburg County Player of the Year by the Charlotte Observer as he led the Lions to a 4A state championship game. Williams played in the 2019 Jordan Brand Classic. Williams finished his high school career with 1,787 points scored, 749 rebounds, and 310 assists over four seasons. Number 9 Entry to the NBA Williams entered his freshman year rated as the 21st best prospect for the 2020 NBA Draft, according to ESPN. He spent the season as the Seminoles' sixth man. He scored 14 points and grabbed a career-high 9 rebounds in a 65-59 win over North Carolina. The following game, he had 14 points in a 99-81 victory over Miami. Williams contributed 17 points and 7 rebounds in an 80-77 win over Syracuse on February 15th. Williams was named to the ACC All-Freshman Team and the conference sixth man of the year at the end of the regular season, after averaging 9.2 points, four rebounds, and one block per game. Number eight. His parents played basketball. Patrick is the son of Janie Williams and Eddie Williams, both played basketball at Johnson C. Smith University. Further, Patrick has one older brother, Kobe. Their mother owns a flower shop in Charlotte, one of his after-school jobs was delivering flowers for his mother's shop. During his high school career at West Charlotte High School, Patrick was a highly sought-after recruit. He was rated a five-star player by 24-7 Sports, the 26th top recruit nationally, the seventh-best high school small forward in the country, as well as the top recruit out of North Carolina. Number seven, shooting off dribble. Williams does a great job of hesitating and then dribbling to his left. This move forces the defense to switch, and Williams gets the advantageous matchup against the center. Williams then drives into the body of his defender before pulling up for the jumper. By getting into the defender's body, Williams eliminates his ability to elevate and earns the open jumper. His success when shooting off the dribble is somewhat surprising, as he's performed a significant reshaping of his shooting form since high school. Players who do this typically see improved success when shooting off the catch, while slowly improving off the dribble. Williams is the opposite though, as he scored 0.86 points per possession when shooting off the dribble as opposed to 0.758 points per possession when spotting up. Number 6 Still in learning stage While the off-ball shooting results for Williams may be inconsistent early in his career, he will significantly improve that aspect of his game as he gets more comfortable with his revised form. This inconsistent off-ball shooting doesn't mean that Williams won't be an off-ball threat either. We see how Williams can be when attacking closeouts. His shooting ability requires defenses to close out, and when done poorly, Williams is more than capable of attacking the rim and finishing with power or finesse. 
keep yourself tuned in as we discover five more amazing facts with you all. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do it now in order to make sure that you don't miss out on any future NBA content from now on. Number 5 Athleticism and Mobility The athleticism and mobility of Williams are always on display. It helps his at rim finishing and rebounding, but also suggests that he should improve his overall defense. Williams is a quality defender, but the results have been a mixed bag when he switches on the perimeter. His footwork is brutish, and his lateral movement is rigid. There are times when he shows flashes, but generally, Williams is slow to react on the perimeter. Williams' success in defending the perimeter is sporadic, but he's an incredibly impressive interior defender. He times his rotations well. He has an excellent grasp of staying vertical and uses explosiveness to deny shots. Number 4 Two-way Ability Two-way ability separates Williams from a lot of players in this uncertain draft. It's hard for young players to crack an NBA rotation if they can't succeed in the 3 and D role that he thrived in at Florida State. That's why Williams is a relatively safe pick despite his pedestrian production. He has an immediate path to playing time at the next level because he doesn't need to hide on defense and he can be a threat on offense without having the ball. But he didn't become the biggest riser in this draft because he's just a safe pick. That happened because of this upside. There's an element of the unknown with the teenager because of how little was asked of him on offense. Maybe that's all Williams was capable of. Or maybe he could have done more in a different role. Number 3 Untapped Potential Believers in Williams point to a few reasons why they think he has untapped potential. The first is his ability to create his own shot. While he doesn't have an elite first step, defenders bounce off of his strong 6'8 frame, and he doesn't need much space to raise up for a jumper. Williams was in the 90th percentile nationwide in points per possession when running pick and rolls, and in the 70th percentile when shooting off the dribble. Those numbers have to be taken in with a grain of salt due to his lack of attempts, but he looked comfortable with the ball in his hands. He's displayed a high basketball IQ as well, most notably in Florida State's 80-77 win over the Syracuse in February. The key to beating Orange's legendary 2-3 zone is putting a playmaker with a size in the middle, a role the Seminoles coaches gave to the freshman forward. It didn't matter whether Williams was athletic, he had to beat the zone using his mind. He finished with 17 points, including the final two field goals down the stretch of the game, but it was the way that he picked apart the defense as a passer that excites scouts the most. Number 2 High Selection of FSU Coming out of high school in Charlotte, North Carolina, Williams was one of the most highest rated signees in FSU history. He was rated the number 26 overall recruit in the 2019 class. Williams will get a four-year, $32 million contract with a $14.5 million guaranteed because he was selected number four overall. Williams played just one season with the Seminoles as he averaged 9.2 points, four rebounds, 1.1 block shots, at one steal. After the 2019-20 season, where Williams helped FSU to a 26-5 record and the ACC Championship, he was named to the 2020 ACC All-Freshman Team and named the 2020 ACC Sixth Man of the Year. Number 1 Top Charlotte Player Former West Charlotte High All-American Patrick Williams is officially a pro. The 6'9", 230-pound forward was selected by the Chicago Bulls with the number 4 overall picked in the NBA Draft. Williams joined that list after becoming one of the most sought-after players in this draft, with his stock rising over the past week. But Williams doesn't want the high point of his story to be that he was perhaps the surprise of the 2020 draft. In Chicago, Williams would play with another NC native, point guard Kobe White, and said White provided a lot of help and advice on navigating the draft process. White, a former star in North Carolina, was a lottery picked in 2019. Two years ago, Williams was a senior at West Charlotte High School and led the Lions to an NC4A championship game. After a freshman season at Florida State, where he was ACC Sixth Man of the Year, Williams declared for the draft and was initially seen as a mid-first round pick. He began to rise as NBA scouts favorably compared his game to Golden State forward, Draymond Green. Like Green, Williams can play and defend all five positions on the floor. Going forward, Patrick Williams is going to produce in the NBA for a long time. He may never reach all-star levels of play, but he should develop into a quality starter. His basketball IQ, athleticism, and defense are too good not to translate. 
If Williams can improve his spot-up shooting and his perimeter footwork, he will make a lot of teams regret passing on him. So, what are your thoughts on this young player? Let us know your answers in the comment section down below. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you liked it, and do hit the subscribe button so that you won't be missing out on any interesting videos from now on.